In this quick lesson, we're going to show off a handy trick in the Finder that will only apply when you're using List View. List View in the Finder is the most information rich because it has spreadsheet like columns that can be rearranged and turned on and off with a right click on the header area up here. We're going to focus on the size column in this lesson. Notice that sizes are currently only displayed for individual files. We can't see the size of any folders, which would tell us the combined size of the files within each of those folders. Knowing this can be useful for a variety of reasons. So if we go up to the View menu and Show View Options, or use the keyboard shortcut Command-J, the View Options panel comes up. Down towards the bottom, we have a checkbox that says Calculate All Sizes. Click this, and the folders in this window will instantly have their file sizes displayed. If we jump to another folder, say my Pictures folder, and switch to the List View there, the Calculate All Sizes option is off. We'll need to click Use as Defaults to make this visible for any window using List View. But the reason this isn't turned on by default is that calculating the sizes of folders requires some work by the Mac, especially the processor and hard drive. So large folders can affect performance temporarily and take a while to be calculated. This is especially true if your Mac is running off a mechanical hard drive rather than an SSD or flash drive. Data is read off a solid-state flash drive much faster than a disk-based mechanical hard drive. So you need to consider the balance with performance and convenience before making this the default option for every Finder window using List View. So if you find yourself needing quick access to the size of folders only occasionally, or as the default option for all List View Finder windows, Utilizing the Calculate All Sizes checkbox can be a great option. Learn much more about using the Finder in our macOS Mojave Core Concepts and What's New tutorials, available at themacu.com.